Oh man, he's way over there. He was right in front of my house when I came in. How hard is it to turkey hunt? They just they come right to you. Come here, buddy. There he goes. I wonder if you just start pecking on this window again. I wonder where they go after turkey season. They hibernate the whole rest of the year, like 11 months. He's getting a weird vibe like he's being watched, I think. Welcome guys, thanks for watching Exploring the Holos. Today I'd like to talk about what's been going on with the protesting on college campuses. Now, the reason why they're protesting is because of what's going on in Palestine. And I think mostly because our government is funding the killing in Palestine, the killing of innocent women and children. I believe the numbers, the total numbers is around 34 plus thousand people. It's hard to confirm that because of the people that are missing and buried under rubble. And uh, so we do not want to be funding that. I do not want my taxpayer money going to that. So what's going on is there's protests for this and it's understandable to me and it's our right as Americans to protest, especially if it's our funds that are being given to a foreign government to wage their war and they're not, they're not taking care of the civilians and they're not protecting the civilians. Um, so it's our right and the police are coming in there and they are coming onto these campuses and arresting arresting people which they justify by saying that there is sections that they can't be in so they say that they're trespassing or there will be a curfew a certain time they can't protest after and um so the main issue is the way they're arresting these people is violent. They're beating people. Sometimes there's three police on one, pummeling people in the face and the head. And um, even people that are um, not actively part of the protests are being arrested and violently thrown down. Um, there's images of a, I seen video last night of professors in two different on two different campuses being arrested for um, just watching and not um, even like actually doing anything just watching and um, recording the police if they see you recording they'll arrest you they'll beat you down and this has got to stop it's um, a perfect opportunity for Joe Biden to to quell this violence on the campuses. If he would just hear out these protesters, that's all they want. They want to be heard. They want their message. They want their message out there. And uh, this is the only way to do it is to protest. And there's a couple of bad actors that may be violent and may be saying the wrong thing, but you can't go after everybody the same. Everybody, for the most part, is peaceful and uh, just trying to get their voices heard. And it's our right to do that as Americans. And we can't have the government trying to quash that 
And we can't have leaders of other countries telling us what to do in our country. Netanyahu got got on TV and he's telling the media that we're not doing enough to squash the protesting. Well, this is our country. He's not the leader of our country. And uh, I think that we need to send a message to him that we don't approve of what he's doing and we hold the purse strings. So I think the only way we can do it is by protesting and voting. We gotta vote all these people out, all these centrists, centrist Democrats and Republicans that support this bloody, unjust genocide. And uh, get out there, protest, be an activist. Um, heart dogs, I heart dogs, I got this shirt. I finally got it, I was worried about it because it was quite a long time that I ordered it. I think it was 15, I ended up being 23 something after the shipping and everything, but um, all the money from buying this shirt goes to feeding shelter dogs. So yeah, I like it. And uh, this is again, not the video that I was planning on doing this week. So uh, hopefully I don't have to be enraged by what I see on the news much longer but I doubt I'm going to be so lucky. So be safe. Hug your furry friends and your family. They're not going to be around forever. And uh, let your voice be known. Speak out. And uh, on Oster, my friends. Alright guy, you're safe for this week.